What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid-10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing on this Saturday morning? I hope this video finds you well. So I want to kind of explain what I've been doing here lately with going to Land Between the Lakes and a couple other projects that I've got in the process right now. What I'm trying to do, I know when you think of overlanding, you think a lot of Jeeps or some off-road type vehicle and that's the only way that you can really do any kind of overlanding. Well, that's not true. That's not true at all, actually. Actually, you can get some pretty darn cool places in a two-wheel drive vehicle. Um, I think you want a little ground clearance such as a truck. Um, even your hybrid SUVs should be able to get to some of these places that I'm going. And that's what I want to do is find those back areas that my two-wheel drive Nissan Titan, your Ford Edge, whatever you own that you want to take somewhere camping, but you want to get out of the normal places camping that you think, well, it's only able to be done with a Jeep or a Forerunner or uh, lifted uh, Tacoma or something of that nature and I want to find us I want to find places and I want to um, discover these new places that we can go to so that's what I'm kind of been working on I was kind of explaining it to a couple different people about how what I'm working on and what I'm my whole point behind it is um, I love state parks I love my state parks here in Tennessee we're going to be camping some more state parks in Tennessee and Alabama, hopefully in South Carolina, North Carolina before long. Um, I will say June and July, well, late June into mid-August, I probably will not be camping. We'll probably be doing some road trips, uh, day trips, that kind of thing, and that's it. Um, but I'm just not going to camp in humidity that's stupid crazy. I just don't do it anymore i did as a kid and boy scouts didn't like it then don't like it today i can camp in the cold i know how to heat a tent i know you can air a tent or cool down a tent but i just don't like being sweaty nasty all day long too um so call me a fair weather camper if you want to we're going to do some mid or early summer camping um, I'm hoping to pull a camping trip together, an overnighter or something, within the next four or five weeks. I really hope to do it before mid-June um, so I can get you another camping trip in. But I want to find these places that we can take our two-wheel drive vehicles that are out of the norm. It's not the, you know, your state park. It's not your, um, you know, family campgrounds. It's dispersed camping and, you know, out there by yourself camping. I want to find those places and it may be places such as, you know, something off a of hip camp even. Um, we're going to take a look at some of those. I've been threatening to do that for a while. I'm going to hold myself to uh, the hip camp stuff and finding a couple of hip camp places to go. RVA Hiker Girl, she does quite a bit of those. Um, I'll leave a link down to her channel right now and you can go on and she'll she has a video about hip camping and it, it looks like it's really neat there's some neat options close to me and I want to try one of those and that may be what I do um, before I hit land between the lakes I'm probably not going to hit land between the lakes or the other place I'm talking about until fall um, like I said I can camp in the cool better than I can in the hot just that's just me that's just the way i'm built insulated not insulated like i used to be but i'm still insulated pretty good and i know how to dress for the cooler weather better than i can't i can't film me naked i would get in trouble and have to go on pornhub and that'd be just gross anyway so i want to find you guys some neat places to go camping with two-wheel drive um that's not going to destroy your vehicle that you don't have to go out and spend the money to buy a four-wheel drive vehicle just to get to a place to camp. I want to prove it can be done. I want to prove it can be done in pretty places, in neat places, 
and that's my goal for the rest of the year and into next year so that's it for this one they're not saying i'm not going to stop the jeep rides i'm going to start I'm going to keep doing jeep rides with bill and we're going to keep collabing on stuff you know for youtube but for the most part you know i like to run solo and i want to find some cool places to go solo and not just state parks so all right probably rambling at this point but i appreciate you watching y'all have a great saturday get out there and have some fun just get outdoors and have yourself a good time and absorb some vitamin d while you're there all right guys that's it for this one be prepared see you on the next one